The demand for answers came shortly after the plane was shot out of the sky. Nearly a year later, the search is far from over. We need to know the truth. What happened and why? Last Christmas, Hamid Ismailian's wife and daughter traveled to Iran for the holidays. They were supposed to come home in two weeks. Nobody on earth could have imagined that a, that a government could sink so low to shoot the children over the skies of Tehran. Iran originally denied any wrongdoing, but after mounting evidence and international pressure, admitted Iran's Revolutionary Guard shot down the plane. In today's report, special advisor Ralph Goodell says so far this case shows there are indications of incompetence, recklessness and wanton disregard for innocent human life. They have not conducted this investigation in a way that is complete or impartial or independent. The report also flags major problems that existing international standards and procedures assign lead investigative responsibilities to the country in which a disaster occurs. The government responsible for that military activity is, in effect, uh, investigating itself with no requirement to be full and complete and candid in providing the answers. Do you believe it was human error, as Iran claims? No, I don't. The Minister of Foreign Affairs told the CBC's Vashi Capellos he rejects Iran's claim missile operators misidentified the plane as a threat. I will question everything they say because I take nothing at face value. So you I don't have trust question. Them. No, because there's too many examples that we've seen where, you know, we have they've not been forthcoming. Families say the report is a good starting point. We just see a, see a light at the end of this tunnel that we can find the truth one day. Hamid Ismailian says truth is the only lifeline families have. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.